Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. In this video, we're going to do a tutorial on how to read the codes on your Surface Engine Zoom Light. We're going to get it to that mode where you can read the codes and you're going to read the codes depending on the way it blinks. So first of all, we're going to have to get into that mode. To get into that mode, the car has to be off to begin with. What you're going to do next is you're going to turn the car on without turning the engine on. All right, on means all the lights on the dash are on, but your engine is not running. All right, at that point, you're going to count 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. All right, three seconds. You're going to put your foot on the accelerator, and, and what you're going to do is you're going to pump it five times within five seconds. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. At that point, you're going to take your foot off the accelerator, Wait seven seconds, one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, and then you're gonna put your foot on the accelerator and keep it there for anywhere from ten to fifteen seconds. All right, I'm gonna do it with you guys right now. All right, the car is now on. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Put on the accelerator. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. At which point your service engine soon light should start blinking. All right. So we're gonna get to the next part of reading the codes. It's going to blink at different speeds. Hey guys, welcome to the second part of this video. Hopefully you guys got to this second part and it worked out getting into uh, the mode to to read the, the error code. So basically, uh, if you got to this point, what's going to happen is there's going to be uh, obviously there's going to be blinking your your uh, service engine zoom light is going to be blinking and it's going to be, be blinking at different speeds alright so you guys going to have to read it uh, from the number of blinks the pause and the number of blinks and it's going to be it, it's going to be a little bit um, you're going to have to get used to reading it because it took me a couple of tries to get to that point where I was able to read the codes exactly. So basically the way this works is there's going to be a P on every single one of this code. These codes are going to start out with a P. So if you guys want to, you know, keep that in your head, it starts with a P and then it's it's, it's going to, you know, the, the first couple of blinks going to be slow. It's going to be the slowest. There's going to be a pause. All right. And it's going to, it's going to blink, you know, whatever the numbers are, it's going to pause and it's going to do that for four numbers or letter. All right. Basically, if it blinks 10 times, it's a zero. All right. If it blinks 11 times, it's an A. All right. It's, it's a letter. It's an A. All right, if it blinks 11 times, it's an A. If it blinks 10 times, it's a zero. Any number of blinks from 1 to 9 is, is 1 to 9. So let's, let's do it with, with this sample that I have up. All right. So if you guys are looking at this right now, it's, all right, you're going to have a P. You're going to start out with a P. Every single one of these codes start out with a P. All right. The first two blinks are going to be the slowest blinks. Uh, in this example, it blinked two times, one, two, and then there's going to be a longer, uh, you know, a pause, and then it'll blink 11 times, and then there's going to be a pause, it's going to blink 10 times, there's going to be another pause, and it's going to blink 10 times. So the code reads P, two for the first two blinks, A, because there's 11 blinks, after that, it's going to be 10, which is a 0, 10, which is a 0. So let's do this. All right, look at it again. So it's P, and then it's going to blink 1, 2, pause, 1, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, which is the letter A. All right, pause. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which is a zero. Pause. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which is another zero. So it's P A no P two A zero zero. So I'm only using this example uh, because this is the code that I had up. Uh, if you guys look, this is the code that came up on my uh, OBD2 reader. So basically, most of the codes are not going to have a letter. Most of the codes are going to have uh, a P and then four numbers. All right. This is one of the rare codes that has an A, which is a letter. So normally, uh, if you have any other codes outside of this code, it's going to be P and four numbers. All right. So in this instance, P A two zero zero. It is a. It, it reads on the OBD two sensor as a. I believe. I'm not looking at it right now, but I believe it says um, oxygen sensor error leak or whatever. But if you guys get, if you guys are getting this code, and this is one of the most common codes that's out there, um, you know, you guys, if you guys want to go to the gas cap, tighten it up, and then, you know, reset the code. If it comes back, it means that you know it's it is what it, it states on there. But most of the time, it's your gas cap that's not tight enough. That's why that code comes up. But outside of that code, if you guys get any other code, then you know you're gonna have your car you know checked out or do some work on your car depending on what the codes are. But with this code right here that's coming up, you know just uh, you know your first thing you should the first thing you should do is to tighten your gas cap, uh, uh, turn off the car. Reset. Turn off your gas cap. Reset the code. Uh, if it doesn't current, you know the the, the uh, service engine light doesn't come back on. Uh, that means that you know that was the issue that was causing the service engine light to pop up. However, if this is not, you know, if, if your service engine soon light uh, stays on after you tighten it and cleared it, that pretty much means that that's. Uh, it's it's the issue that's on you know that's it's the issue that that's what the code you know what's you know what the code is all right guys so like I said it's gonna take a little bit of time to fig you know to 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 get it to figure out actually you know how to how to read it you know you might have to you know do it a couple of times but if you guys if it doesn't work out for you, what you guys could do is you guys could get an OBD2 reader. They sell it for like 19 bucks, you know, at Walmart. They sell it for around that price on eBay, Amazon. Or if you guys, you know, you guys can drive to uh, uh, AutoZone or Advanced Auto, any other parts stores that does any of these simple um, service engine soon light diagnostics. Um, you guys can get them to check it out for free. All right, guys. So this is the third part of the video. All right. We're going to clear the service engine soon light uh, from your dash and from the car's computer. Um, what we're going to do is we are going to put, um, you're going to put your foot on the pedal, uh, on the accelerator pedal and count to 10. Uh, count 10 seconds, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, all the way up to 10 seconds. Uh, once you do that, uh, take your foot off the uh, the accelerator pedal, turn the car off, and then turn the car back on again. At that point, the service engine soon light should be cleared from your dash, and the code should be cleared from the computer. However, uh, just want to let you guys know that even if you guys cleared it from the computer if you guys didn't get the issue fixed if there was uh, an issue there uh, to begin with if you guys did not get the issue fixed uh, for example if there was an O2 sensor that set it off um, if you didn't if you didn't change that out and get that fixed what's going to happen is your car is going to go through a drive cycle um, 
if you guys don't know what the drive cycle is, uh, pretty much the drive cycle is anywhere from 20 to 40 miles, sometimes higher. Uh, what what that uh, what it is is it's the car's computer pretty much going through um, um, or pretty much every sensor in the car, depending on how you're driving. And normally that would take take 20 to 40 miles for the computer to go through the whole entire drive cycle. But once it hits that sensor that has the issue that wasn't fixed what's going to happen is your service engine soon light is going to come back on again and when it comes back on again you're going to have to go through the whole entire process of of um clearing it again um and uh you know the best the best thing to do when this issue comes up as far as the service engine soon light is concerned is to try to fix the issue or or you know or to fix the issue to try to fix the issue uh, because uh, even if you clear the service engine soon light and regardless of what you're doing it for most people um, normally um, are looking for ways to clear the service engine soon light because of uh, inspection or the car is driving kind of uh, strange or, or, or driving out uh, with issues but a lot of times in these situations a lot of people are actually um, you know they, they have inspection coming up and they're hoping to clear the service engine soon light uh, clear the code from the computer so that it could pass inspection however um, that's probably not gonna work reason being is that um, uh, one one of the reasons for an that not working is the drive cycle um, normally to pass inspection if you guys watch any of my other videos on passing uh, car inspection I actually did a bunch of videos where I actually tried to you know get it passed inspection by normally if you take your car to inspection um, when they put the uh, OBD2 OBD scanner to scan your uh, your uh, car's computer um, you you know it you have to have at least you know most of the codes most of the um, sensors the monitors most of the monitors um, uh, the drive cycle had to have passed through most of the monitors uh, and uh, you could probably pass with an exception of maybe one monitor sometimes two but most of the time you might have an exception just one single monitor that hasn't passed so so you might be able to pass inspection um, with six out of the seven or, or seven out of the eight uh, monitors uh, you know the car having gone through all those monitors but um but it's very very difficult to do so the best um thing to do about it as far as fixing the issue is to uh get the issue fixed but i hope this video has helped you guys out if you guys have any um you know questions please leave your questions on the comment section and uh, please give me a thumbs up and also please subscribe. Also, uh, check out my other videos, particularly videos on, uh, you know, uh, service engine soon lights um, and, uh, and how to pass inspection and, and, and all those other videos. All right, guys, take care.